Hey honey bunches, um, welcome to a video of the delicious things I ate this week. I've found I've had a bit more um, motivation to try new things. I think that the longer day is giving me a bit more energy and tidying up loose ends um, to do with work and other stuff. So yeah, I've uh, found a lot of joy in the kitchen recently. Hooray, she deserves it after two years of, <laughs> well, I mean it's always up and down, but two years of that passion um, becoming more and more jaded. So I fried up some more of my plantain or plantain and made a simplified Caribbean feast. Uh, I made Rachel Amma's one a while ago. You might have seen it on Instagram or in a video. I made a mango cucumber coriander salsa to go with like uh, mm. jerk black beans over rice and Yum. the sweet with the spice and the rice. It was all very nice. <laughs> um, a really nice way to simplify that sort of concept but still enjoy it and then my brother you might have seen sent me a box of incredible goodies for my birthday and so you bet i have been bloody relishing enjoying a booja booja moment or two throughout the week um they're like the best vegan truffles ever so creamy and these ones tasted like a fancier ferrero rocher i went out to dinner with a friend on the weekend and um she kindly let me take the doggy bag of leftovers home so Enjoyed munching on that. <laughs> um, for lunch, this is pretty standard for me, rice cakes with pesto, avocado, a nut cheese and tomato or an iteration of. Just goes down so well. Doesn't make me feel sort of weird digestion wise and we love to not feel weird when <laughs> uh, digestion stuff's a thing for us. These are the caramello type balls from Healthy Lab. Off the charts good, so incredible. They taste like those Venetian biscuits white chocolate type vibe. Okay, I was veganizing an Adam Law recipe from the Age Sunday Life magazine. Looks super simple. It was for fried chicken with shredded iceberg and then you make a dressing. This dressing was phenomenal. So adaptable and I used the leftovers of it throughout the week. So I swapped out the chicken for tofu. You just toss that in corn flour and tamari or you know soy sauce if you don't need to be gluten free. Then he said deep fry. I went shallow because that just worked and so yum i added rice to sort of bulk out the meal a bit so crispy so good very flavorful um i'll be making that dressing again i used up a bit more of it with like a tempeh sushi bowl love like sushi seasoning it just elevates any sort of um i don't know poke bowl sushi bowl moment okay i got gifted this and i realized i'm dressed like the packaging well done um and i love an iced tea but this as you can see from my reaction it's like the emoji, um, you know, with <laughs> a tongue being poked out, one eye closed. It is so sweet. I would not recommend, even if you're a real sweet tooth, it's just a bit artificial and a bit gross and headache inducing and not my thing. So pass on that. Um, I'd pop to a gluten-free like cafe bakery with a friend the previous week and picked up a few things so this was using their beetroot gnocchi with essentially a ratatouille but ratatouille so adaptable so it can be like a pasta sauce drown it in parmesan with the gnocchi happy days then i was trying out a new gluten-free yes gluten-free um vegan sausage recipe my dear friend lynn had um translated it um, from a little video on Instagram and I was very excited because it didn't have vital wheat gluten in it and vegan uh, mock meat stuff generally does and that's not gluten free or fire swappable you know so anyway this just had a bit of flour in it which I swapped out for like a chickpea flour plain flour type blend you freeze the tofu defrost which I think you know helps get rid of the moisture so uh, improving the texture of your final thing. Look, the mixture right here definitely doesn't look sublime, but watch it transform. I didn't have the right mush mushrooms, you might notice, like I used enoki, you definitely shouldn't have parboiled them because they're so like fragile. Um, then you wrap them up like bonbons, bake them in the oven for 30 minutes, and then you fry them in a pan. Um, this recipe had like Chinese five spice powder in it, that was the vibe of the sausage, but I will definitely be trying this again and making maybe an Italian sausage just as a, like a base and then keep um, trying new things off there. Yeah, the mushroom was meant to mimic like the fat chunks in regular sausage, but the enoki just really, I don't know, didn't 
make that effect work. Um, but yeah, see how brown and sausage-like they look? Um, once you go through that process, I appreciate that you don't have to steam them because that's just a bit moist and, I don't know, not a fun time. And yeah, I will be adapting this recipe and you'll be getting a gluten-free vegan sausage recipe soon. Hooray! Okay, um, tried these because I heard they're like someone's favourite. Um, I would agree, they're great. Then my brother had given me in his bundle of goodies a mushroom stock cube. So I made like a ramen -y thing with a chickpea noodles, some grilled corn, grilled broccoli, uh, made the broth and sprinkled more of those, that sushi seasoning on top. That was fun. That was delicious. Uh, another thing I bought from this gluten-free bakery was some pumpkin chickpea sausage rolls. The taste of these was sensational. However, I just don't vibe with um, gluten-free short crust pastry or puff. Like it just doesn't work. It's um, like cardboard to eat, very exhausting and makes you feel a bit gross. Um, yeah, not flaky and not light. This was just basic heavenly fresh pesto pasta with roasted pumpkin, which is a match made in heaven because sweet sort of salty vibes we love. Then I was going on a picnic um, at the end of this week and so I made a few different things. I planned on making like tofu nuggets then realized we don't have that much tofu well done Phoebe so it was a sort of selection of what was it it was lemon and herb sort of battered shallow fried deep fried uh, tofu chunks which were delicious just made a chickpea batter um, and coated them and then this was my chickpea tuna cucumber sushi uh, I think it's in my first is it yes my first cookbook um, it's delicious, very filling. Made some thumbprint cookies, these are on the blog. Almondy, lemony, jammy deliciousness. And then my friend had made lavender chocolate gluten-free vegan cupcakes. And she talked about infusing the butter that you make the icing out of with lavender. So I was like, I don't know, blown away. And we'll be taking that technique, um, yeah, forward in my vegan cake adventures. Then on the last morning, of the week I made these pancakes from a mix I'd been gifted. Do I recommend it? No! <laughs> the taste is fine and yeah they're like healthy nourishing pancakes however they just don't. They're not fluffy, they're all stodgy in the middle and frankly when I want a pancake I want a fluffy um, fluffy moment. So proceed at own risk that's my brutal honest opinion <laughs> but happy to be given free food. Ah uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, honey bunches. Hope you're doing well when you're watching this and I will see you soon. Bye.